Joe English here at EM All Access, and we're at EMS in San Francisco. Today I talk with Paul Salinger of Oracle about green events and why it's important to be green when you're producing events. Let's listen in to the interview. Paul, thanks for joining me. Thanks. Here in San Francisco, your hometown. Yep, I born, understand. He, born here. Yeah. Yeah. And Oracle Open World is here. Oracle Open World is held in San Francisco every year. Yeah. yeah it takes over uh, most of the city, I think. It takes they over. Just close a, a, the city. Ta yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we kind of try to think of it that way. It's you know, it's called painting the town red. Yes. And we, you know, we do try to give the impression that we own San Francisco during that week. Well, one of the unique things about that is you close down one of the main streets. Right? Yeah. Well, Which not, is... not not even just one street. We actually close. We're up to like three streets oh now that goodness. we close and uh, but yeah ones. but, the main, but <laughs> the main street Howard Street is a, a main traffic artery and we yeah. close it down for yeah. that week and you know we close a week uh, a street over by the Hilton as well for Java one and actually we're now on two streets over by the Hilton that we're closing for Java one why, why, why would you do that is it uh, you're just you're just out of space in Moscone it, it's, yeah. a, it's a space issue yeah. but it's also I think we do it somewhat to create some buzz right yeah. right um, that was one of the initial factors was we needed space for lunch but we also saw it as a great opportunity for creating buzz for the event. Yeah. And now it's become an integral part of the conference from the standpoint of, we sort of look at Oracle Open World as kind of a campus, if you will, yeah. because we have very diverse audiences and very diverse product lines. You know, we sort of like have gone down the road of, you know, creating spaces where HR people can congregate with them with each other, where yeah. marketing, sales, and service people can congregate with each other. And then we kind of look at Howard Street as sort of like the campus quad, where everybody can kind of come together, yeah. and it's close to the keynote hall, so it's an extension of the content from the keynote hall mm -hmm. into the outdoor space, which is a great networking space. You know, and we always hold the event in the fall, where, yeah. when the weather is quite good. Mm -hmm. We used to actually tent it, but now we've created a big open plaza, which is much more, you know, customer friendly, much more conducive to conversation, kind of sitting and hanging out. We put lots of recharging stations out there. We run, we've run even content out there, as well as you know entertainment in the evening. So it's really become kind of a hub for the whole conference. So it just richens the experience. Totally, totally yeah. richens the experience, and it creates a great meeting point for people to say, you know, just meet me at Oracle Plaza. Mm -hmm. Get you outside. Too. It gets you outside. Which is you know, nice. which, which is important. It's a, it's an important part of like the sustainability piece mm -hmm. that we that we are so you know kind of attuned to is yeah. like we really care about the health and well-being of our attendees. We want to create a great experience for them from a number of standpoints, from the content to the networking to some of the fun things. But we also want to do it in a very sustainable kind of way. We've eliminated some of the, our buses that we used to transport people because we think that, you know, getting out in the fresh air and walking a quarter mile to your hotel is not a bad thing. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So you were on the Green Meetings Industry Council. I was. Uh, I'm president of that body. Yeah. Um, yeah. Why, why do event planners need to be thinking about green what does well, it do for them well I think there's a number of different things I think that you know I think we're starting to recognize and, and the new generations that are coming up are kind of even forcing this issue in terms of you know that it's about experiences and not about possessions it's not about consumerism so right you know the the traditional way of doing uh, you know, event marketing and, and things is to create a lot of stuff. You know, you have your yeah. conference bag, it gets filled right. with a lot of yeah. stuff. Yeah. So we're trying to reduce waste. Yeah. We're trying to solve the climate change problem to some degree and be much more of kind of a low carbon economy. And the event industry plays a big role in that. I mean, we have people traveling all over the world, right. count, you know, um, bringing lots of carbon into the air through yep. air travel and mm -hmm. transportation, all of those kind of Freight, things. Freight, things like Freight, that. Freight, all of those kinds yeah. of things. So I, I want us to be a part of the solution as opposed to a, a big part of the problem. Mm -hmm. But there are also economic benefits. You know, yeah. we've saved over $2 million at Oracle mm -hmm. uh, through sustainable practices over the last few years. So there's a bottom line experience to it as well. Yeah. If I can reduce, you know, the amount of stuff that I create, if I can reduce the amount of carbon that gets, you know, gets emitted into the atmosphere, there are there are environmental and social benefits to that mm -hmm. that I think that we need to start thinking about as as an industry mm -hmm. and people are thinking about it. I know that people are thinking about it, but there's a long ways to go still. And I think that there's something to be said for you know just using kind of sustainable practices as one more filter in the way that you think about experiences. Mm -hmm. And millennials, in particular, young people, they seem to be very attuned to charitable causes, uh, social causes. Absolutely. And things. Do you mess 
message green to your attendees when you're at Oracle Open World? Will you see a sign that says we saved a hundred trees by not printing your catalog and things like that? Yeah, we, we do do that. We do that both through our mobile app and on the website and yeah. we have a little bit of signage. We try yeah. and actually sort yeah. of minimize the signage. But yes, we yeah. absolutely message that stuff and we're just about to start a program with the Nature Conservancy to plant a million trees over the next four years because we have goals at Oracle that we're trying to get the, our conference to be a zero waste carbon neutral conference by 2019. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something to really be proud of. Yeah, it You're is. talking about a million is. trees. Much yeah. as we're much as we're proud by the overall experience and winning an X award, you know, for yeah. the conference, yeah. you know, we are super proud of the fact that we are one of the highest rated sustainable conferences in the world. Yeah, I mean, the, this this topic of green seemed to really jump onto the scene maybe what five more years ago, five or more years ago, it became a real topic. Is it is it continuing to be talked about in the in in our event circles? Or, it, it is, yeah. you know, and I think I think that if you kind of look back at the history of it, it kind of got a lot of momentum up right. to 2008. Once that recession hit, yeah. people kind of abandoned it a little mm -hmm. bit and went, you know, some different directions. Because in a lot of ways, there's a myth about you know doing green events as being more costly. Yeah. Um, but I think you know the fact that we've saved over two million dollars tells me that it doesn't have to be costly. That yeah. if you build it in and if it's integrated, much like we talk about integrated marketing, if you integrate sustainability into your event planning, you can actually save money and see some operational efficiencies as a result of doing that. So I think that people are starting to clue into that message now a little bit more. So it's not just that environmental benefit. It's now people are starting to look at you know the operational efficiency and the cost saving that it can that it can bring to bear, and they're starting to look at the social causes as as well. I think that you're actually seeing a lot more conversation around the social side of it, which was always a little bit lacking when it was just an environmental message. Yeah. But there's no question that you have to combine kind of the whole triple bottom line because because of climate change, because of the 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 risk that it presents to our industry in terms of new regulations, mm -hmm. new potential taxes on carbon, those kinds of things, as well as the societal things where you know corporate corporations now are really looking at corporate social responsibility you know, in a much more meaningful way, and the, the, the opportunity to create um, economic benefit as well, that it's something that you know event marketers and event people in general really should be looking at as a part of the way that they think about their experiences and the way that they build their portfolio and the way that they think about the planning cycle and how you build sustainability into it. Yeah, well, so you guys are doing great work. You have a lot to be proud of, both yeah. on producing your show and all this green uh, momentum that you have. It's really awesome stuff yeah, you're doing. Exactly. So thanks for John talking right. with us. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thank you.